mentioned you were rolling tonight. Uh, what did you feel like was working throughout the game? Um, I just want to thank God. Without God, <clears throat> I wouldn't be able to do all this. Um, I mean, just coming out there with energy, uh, trying to make the right plays for my team. Um, and honestly, I just worked very hard the whole summer. Uh, I'm glad to see it pay off. Max, it felt like in the middle of that first half when you guys went to go, when you guys played a little bit faster after rebounds, you guys started to get a little bit more offense. Mm -hmm. Was that sort of a concerted effort to go a little bit faster or was that just sort of how the game was playing? Uh, that's just how the game became to be. Um, we just crashed the offensive, the offensive glass very hard. Um, we just got, we just crashed the glasses really hard. That's what really gave us a lot of energy to get up and transition and stuff like that. So. Max, you were hustling out there. Uh, I saw you dive for a couple of loose balls or at least try and make a play on a few of them. Yeah. How much, I guess, do you pride yourself on being able to make plays like that in, uh, you know, on defense and then having it lead to offense? Yeah, you just got to be willing to give up your body. Uh, and just do anything for the win, do anything for your teammates. Um, I felt like I was in the position to get on the ground and just be the first one to get on the ground. So just be a dog mentality. So, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Max, just how good did this debut performance feel like to you here at Bramlage? Um, it felt good. Um, it's only the first game, so there's more to come. Um, but I just feel like it's just a good, good way to get out there and just get away uh, all the, like the first game jitters and stuff like that. So it just felt good. What what uh, what would you like K State fans to know about you? Um, I'd say that I work pretty hard. Um, I work for, I work hard for what I get, um, and these guys push me to make me work hard. So yeah, so just say working hard. You've played a lot of ball uh, since you've been in Manhattan. What have you learned most about yourself? Um, I've learned that I could be very consistent. Um, I could be an everyday guy. Uh, just give your give my all every day. So that's pretty much it. David, just to, just to uh, go back to what you said earlier about just playing so hard over, over the summer and preparing for this moment, it's got to be just such such a good feeling. Just what's running through your head right now as you sit here and look at your numbers? Um, yeah, that's a good feeling, like you said. But at the same time, I'm always really hard on myself and I never really get uh, satisfied too fast. I always want more and want better. Um, Tonight is one thing I'm glad with the with the win we got, but on to the next now. David, I wanted to ask you about the pass that Max gave you in the second half oh, before yeah. your dunk. Um, were you expecting that, or was that just total improv there? Like I was running very hard, and I was screaming his name, like, Max, Max. I didn't know if he heard me or not, but that was a great pass. I'm not going to lie. I did not expect it, but he did pass it, and I dunked it. So shout out to Max. <laughs> right, another question about a pass. Doug, you had a really nice one at the end of the first half to uh, to Max. Had a couple good ones to Bay there at the end. Do you feel like you're building a good chemistry with these guys already? Uh, yeah, I definitely do. And I feel like main, that mainly starts off the court. You know, we hang out with each other all the time. So, you know, I'm comfortable with, you know, giving them the ball. And, you know, just chemistry off the court that leads to on the court. David, being on the team last year, what do you see with this year's team that you feel may be a little bit different? Um, one thing I would say is turnovers, uh, take care of the ball. We only had nine turnovers, uh, tonight. And I feel last year, I think we was one of the worst in the country with turnovers per game. Just, just taking care of the ball. That's a, a big difference. I feel like. <clears throat> Doug, obviously you're you're coming off the bench now. D does that a change change your approach at all when you come into the game, or, or no, sort of how really. do you approach that? Uh, I'm playing the same game regardless, starting or not. So that doesn't really change my approach. Max, that run in the first half, I think it was 24 to five or 25 to four. Mm -hmm. You and um, or Hassan just kept on hitting three pointer after three pointer. 
How good did that feel, and how did do you maybe see things kind of switch from then on? Oh, uh, it felt pretty good. Um, it felt good just seeing the ball go in the hoop. Um, I mean, I didn't come out there thinking I was going to make every three. <laughs> so, uh, me and Brandon work on our three-pointer every day, so shout out to Brandon too. So yeah. What kind of chemistry you guys have, you and Brandon? Um, I mean, he's my roommate, so me and him see each other every day, all day. Um, we have a good chemistry, like off the court, so that's what it really brings us on the like on the court. So yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate the time. Thank you.